Konnichiwa guys, this is Elena from the heart of Tokyo, Japan. Today I want to show the apartment that I've been living here and uh, without further ado, just come on up. Welcome to the apartment, come in, come in. But stay there because if you are in your shoes, this is the tiled area for the shoes and then you have to step here on the wooden area when your uh, shoes are removed. There's actually a fine for that. So right here on the door there are the house rules and all I can see is fine for late check-in, for uh, not sorting the rubbish, for not taking your shoes off. 3,300 yen so that's the $30. And here on the door are sorting rules for uh, the garbage. Our apartment is tiny, but yet I think it has all the things that it needs for good functioning. On the left, the first miracle is the toilet. Uh, this is my first time interacting with the Japanese toilet. I am uh, super surprised, I have to say, um, because my first delight was that the seat is always heated. Um, and then also on the right you have this panel control where you can rinse your butt and your lady parts. This is for example for the butt and there's this thing that comes out and starts spraying. It, um, it looks a little bit strange but I've been in it a couple of times and used it and I can tell that it makes a big difference in terms of cleanliness so that's something that I like. You know, you come home after a long day of work and you sit in this warm toilet and your life suddenly becomes a little bit better. The other thing that I like is when you flush, water comes from the top into the toilet which, you know, can help you to clean your hands right here with soap and then the soapy water goes um, into the toilet which saves a lot of water. Uh, then we have some toilet paper here. You know, nothing, nothing unusual and a small bin. So uh, Japanese do save every square centimeter of space, you know, placing lots of good stuff. I was figuring it out for <laughs> some time and later I understood this is the temperature for the water. So every time when you increase it or decrease it, I don't know what that means, but that sounds pretty comforting. So this is the bathroom, uh, it consists of two parts, this part where you brush your teeth and do all things mirror related. Uh, we also got two toothbrushes that we didn't use and this hair dryer again that I didn't use. Here we have the washing machine which is actually very handy, we've been in this apartment for say three days but we already managed to uh, wash our clothes and there's also a uh, detergent from the place this is the rack where all of our towels dry up this is the bathroom it is very tiny let me just show you for scale you know how big it is so this is me i took bath three times here because I love baths and actually fit in. But my husband who is on the bigger side, who's filming this, uh, he said that this was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, now in Japan, you shower before you go into the bathtub and this I haven't yet figured out. I think you're supposed to shower here because the shower holders are on this uh, part of the room and this is somewhere where the you know a drain where the water goes so I, I think you're showering here and then going into the shower so when we did our laundry we hang the clothes there inside and then we put the air dryer and it actually dried overnight which was super comfortable um, the kitchen that we have is in the corridor which is not the ideal way for me of having a kitchen uh, but given the small space I understand why it is like this Nevertheless, I think it's very well equipped. We didn't cook, but it looks like a pretty reliable good stove. We have a pot, a pan, a rice cooker, uh, some things for chopping and then some utensils. The sink is very deep and actually very wide. So this is my arm. It go like, it's really comfortable. And here we had a couple of sets of uh, uh, plates and glasses for our use, microwave and kettle and a small fridge and this is a freezer. The tricky part with this uh, apartment, at least for us, was the sorting of the garbage. You have three bins, the one for organic burnable trash, 
this is paper and well basically everything that burns then you have recyclable plastic so in japan you're supposed to remove the label of the bottle from the bottle and then because the bottles the cans and the glass bottles are recycled separately like this so it took us some time to figure out but uh, we did it some storage space here really smart for paper towels a vacuum cleaner um, an iron oh this thingy for cleaning your clothes and this is the main space uh, a pretty comfortable big bed uh, I uh, feel that a more modern apartment hotels have European beds, uh, you rarely sleep on the floor. Uh, and there, there's wooden floor in the whole apartment um, and this nice carpet. And also a table, we haven't worked, well, my husband did work here and he said that was okay. On this tablet we checked in, there was a special interface where you had to take photos of yourself and, you know, check in with some information about yourself. And we also have TV. Um, this is some Japanese programming. We have two windows so you can see that it's, uh, it's a lot of light coming in. Actually, when you're going to sleep, we have to close the curtains. I've never been outside actually, but I'm wondering if I can... Oh, here we go. Open it. There is a pair of outside shoes for hobbits. <laughs> for a small Japanese seat. Well, the view is not much, but if somebody wants to go outside, um, they can do so. And maybe hang your clothes. Although I do think the bathroom is a much better option. Um, last words, well, I guess the one big minus of this apartment is the fact that it doesn't have heating. So in the winter we had to run the AC 24 seven because it was so cold inside of the apartment. It actually took more than a day for it to heat properly because nobody was living in it before us. This apartment costs around 100 US dollars uh, per night. Uh, and I think that's pretty much the average price per, per apartment. Well, um, that's all that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any additional questions, please write them in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.